we started out before the fair. Um, we signed up for different activities during the week, and a lot of us, um, <laughs> a lot of us actually just filled in when there wasn't anybody signed up. And uh, mainly, we welcome at the main gate or south gate. We um, were having fun, and um, we would do little social media stories on. Like we have a guy that does chainsaw art and so Jason and Patrick would send us out to do that. Okay well first I was informed of it by um, someone on the board that they had a new program that they were just starting and so I filled out an application and then they emailed saying that I was going to come in for an interview and so then we came and we had an interview with three of the board members I believe and then they told us they would um, call us back. I think there were about 20 people that interviewed and only um, 14 got it so well, it's completely different, you know, normally you just come out here and you go eat all you can eat and you go and you ride as many rides as you can and you just have fun, but whenever you're on this side of the fair, you get to see, you know, well, what did it take for that ride to get built or how many food vendors are out here and who does this and who does that and it's completely different to see that and then you get to work stuff like the concerts and you get to be backstage and you get to help. Um, just handle gates and stuff and answer people's questions and it goes, it's a lot more work than you think. When you see people working you just think, oh well they've done this forever, but it takes a lot of effort more than what you just see when you come. Are they going to stick them in the thing? Yeah, there you go. Do like that. What motivates you to do that? Um, well, they told us from the beginning that it was going to get in our blood and I kind of just overlooked that, but I agree it does get, it's in my blood now. Uh, kind of just get to see uh, what goes on behind the scenes. A lot of people don't know what really does, and um, that's probably my most favorite part, getting to see the works and everything before the fair actually opens its gates. I would really just like to make sure it stays continued. I think it's something good, and, uh, I, you know, it, we're going to be the future of the fair uh, eventually. You know, the board members are, you know, older members, and so eventually they're going to have to need, or need younger people to come in and take over for them. Here at the National Peanut Festival, we put about 175,000 people through these gates, and it takes a lot of volunteers. In fact, about 400. This year, we added a new program: it's high school juniors and seniors. There's 14. We call them JFAP or Junior Fair Advisory Program. They're an extra set of eyes and ears that help uh, guide the board of directors in some of the decisions we make. They volunteer their time. Many schools in the local area require community service, some do not, but these guys are out here having a good time. Most every day they're here. Uh, they put in a minimum of 15 hours. We've got some that have put as many as 40 already, and we still got three more days of this great fair. But the weather's been wonderful. They come out, they have a great time with us, and it's all about fun. In fact, our uh, theme this year is Find Your Fun, and I think they found their fun, but they've, get, they've gotten to see a lot of behind the scenes, whether it be the concerts, working with some of the fairground entertainers as escorts. They're going to get to be in the parade tomorrow. So they get a lot of little perks that, uh, and, and I think later on in life, they're going to appreciate. And what have, um, what have you learned from them, seeing, you know, them being like 16 to 18 years old? They've actually been helping this week with some of our social media stories, whether it be Facebook, some of the Instagram photos that you've seen, as well as the uh, Peanut Festival website, nationalpeanutfestival.com. They are, they're helping contribute to the fun for everyone. Yeah. Uh, filters will be in effect, of course, most every day of the festival. During the parade, be sure to get your Snapchat on the parade route. But yes, they're helping uh, take a lot of these pictures and we post them and just share it. Again, it's, there's a lot of folks that can't come to the fair. If, if they got an internet access though, they can enjoy the fair just like being here.